I'm going to show you how to create a raw TCP tunnel from any computer. It might be a Docker container, Kubernetes cluster, Raspberry Pi, um, your office, and then connect to it um, over the internet. So to begin with, we normally need to have um, something like, let's say, um, Postgres running locally. Now, the easiest way for me to do that is probably just to run it with um, Docker on my computer. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've just generated a, a little password for Postgres to use. Um, and I'm going to just type it in here. And this is just going to use the latest image of Postgres. I'm not particularly pinning to a specific version, but you can do that. I'm going to assume that you actually have Postgres anyway um, and that you have your own way of running it. Once a Docker image is pulled down, um, you probably know what happens next. It will boot up the process. So let's open another window. And in this instance, what we're going to do is use this inlet CTL command. And what this does is it creates an exit server for you on the internet that is like the public end of your tunnel. So rather than using a SaaS, we have to pay a lot of money to get um, unlimited access and your own TCP ports. What we're gonna do is create our own VPS and we get to use all of the ports available on that machine. Now, the default is to use DigitalOcean, but you can actually go ahead and, and, and use anything you want here. We then need to put in our access token or access token file this is where our um, token is for the for being able to provision that host. In this instance, I've gone in my DigitalOcean dashboard and saved one. Um, there are a whole bunch of different um, cloud providers that you can see that you can use here, and there's new ones being added pretty frequently. Um, Hetzner Cloud was added quite recently too. And then there's this remote TCP. Now this flag, we might change this in the future, it's effectively what is upstream host so whenever a core comes in the inlets pro client running on my computer will point to local host because that's where i run docker but this could actually be another computer in the network or even on the internet after running the create command we're now seeing inlet ctl talking to the DigitalOcean api it's trying to provision that host And once it's up and running, we will then run the client given the um, given the output that we're, that we're going to receive in the terminal window here. Now this changes every time. Obviously the IP address and the auth token are always going to be unique. We need to set the TCP port here to forward um, for the standard port for Postgres. We then need to provide our license. Um, I got one of these earlier trial. This is my license file that I saved. If you need a trial, you can just get one for free. It's not a problem. Now we have a token. Obviously this token does change. Um, let's set that there. And the exit IP we received above. Now you do actually get this connection string, so you don't need to do what I'm doing exactly. Um, it's just that I found it a bit easier to write all of these bits out one line at a time. And let's try it out. We're now connected. So Postgres is being served on this IP address. And what we should be able to do is let's sort of split the screen. And we should be able to go and use that password from our previous um, command where we set up Postgres. Let's we'll scroll up a bit. That's the one that we used. This is the client that we're going to run now. And then we're going to put the exit IP. And finally, we run this command. We're connected. We don't have any tables or anything yet, but there we are. We're actually running um, a Docker instance on my computer, my Mac mini, 
We've then run Postgres as a container and it's on the internet, it's live. I could then connect to this from um, WordPress or some kind of website that I've got. And actually, if you don't want to expose that on the internet because we, we haven't added TLS to it or anything like that, that is fine too. You can actually log into the server and tell it not to uh, not to bind on every port. So the inlets pro server is bound to every interface in the computer. It could just get bound to localhost. And then if you run your APR website on the same machine, you can connect, connect directly to it as if it was actually running on that host. If you use Kubernetes, then it's even easier. You just don't have to do anything. By default, it will just um, get connected into your cluster. So go and have a look at this. The website that you need is inlets.dev or docs.inlets.dev. And you can find out more. You can find the link to this database tutorial. We also have Maria there. Um, needless to say, any database that talks over TCP will work absolutely fine here. Um, go try it out. Let me know what you think.